Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a favourites video and there are a few festive bits creeping in there now which is exciting so if you want to see what I've been enjoying recently then keep watching. So hi everyone, I hope you are okay. This is the second time that I've tried to start this video because just as I was in the middle of filming and got a delivery and I completely lost my train of thought, so I thought, you know what? We're gonna start again. But yeah, this is gonna be a favorites video. I'm feeling quite into the swing of feeling Christmassy and festive now. So there's a few festive bits in here that I feel like you'll enjoy too. Um, especially if you feel like we're on the same sort of level, if you know what I mean. But this video has also been sponsored by HelloFresh. You'll know that I've worked with them for a while now and I love anything foodie related. You know that I love my food, of course I do. Um, so working with them is always a pleasure and I have another discount code and all of the information will either be on screen or in the description box below. So if you fancy giving it a go or you want to treat yourself over the festive season to something just to make your life a little bit easier then this might be the one for you. So obviously if you've never had HelloFresh before, I'm sure you've seen them. They are a subscription service for food. So all the ingredients that you need come in a box and you are good to go. And some of the offers are really fantastic. We like it for those weeks. You know when you're gonna have a really intense one and you just, you can't think of anything to eat. You don't just want to eat like rubbish. Cause I find in the run up to the festive season at the moment, like there's a lot of excuses to eat like, you know, lots of cheese and treats and chocolate and all of that good stuff, which don't get me wrong. I'm not faulting it, but it's also nice to have a little bit of balance in there. And HelloFresh has some fantastic recipes. What I enjoy personally as a mother and also the primary cook in our house is that there are different categories based on what your needs might be. So there are quick recipes, like super quick ones, which I love for busy weeks because I don't want to be slaving over like, you know, the oven or a pan or something and chopping for ages because it just, when things are really intense, as much as I love to cook, it's the last thing that I want to do. So I really like those recipes. I like the street food ones as well. They're really cool. You know, just to get like different flavors from different cultures. I really, really enjoy those. And then if you want something extra fancy, you can get premium recipes. And in the box that I've got recently, there is like a roast dinner one with some beautiful cuts of meat. And actually cost wise, it works out a lot cheaper than me going to the shops and getting it myself, um, which I was really chuffed with. So I'm so excited to have that recipe. I've not cut that one yet but the one that we had last night was a butter chicken naan um, and it was giving sort of like a like curry pizza vibes which the kids really liked. I feel like if you make something look like something that they already really love they're just gonna eat it. Thankfully my kids like curry anyway especially naan bread. So they were made up and it came with a nice fresh salad on the side and it was really easy to do. And the quick recipes often have everything chopped and cooked for you. So the chicken was already diced really finely. So I could literally just chuck it in the pan and get going and have to like wash loads of stuff either. So that was a really good one. But if you wanna give it a go for yourself, then as I mentioned, everything will be linked down below. And it's just a great little treat for this time of year, I think, especially if you can pair it with say a takeaway because you'll usually get a lot more food and it'll be nice and fresh and you can keep the recipes and learn a few cooking tips along the way as well so if that's interesting then you know where all of the information is and thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video but now we're gonna get on with my favorite so I'm feeling super festive I am so excited at the time of filming this we haven't actually got into uh, December yet, but I would like you all to know that I was the first person on my road to put my Christmas lights up. <laughs> and I am really, I don't know, do you know, Christmas lights, external Christmas lights, I'm gonna add them as a favorite because the joy that they bring me is ridiculous. I get my little step ladder out and my gutter hooks and my lights and I go across the front of the house and I put everything out and I've got a few little extra bits as well. And it's funny really, because I am in the house most of the time when they are on, but, 
just to think that someone would be driving home driving home for Christmas and then they pass my house and I don't know about you but when I see Christmas lights I automatically smile and they make me happy and so that for me has just brought me so much joy and I've literally seen people walking past the house at like dusk time when you can still see a bit outside and they look up and smile and that has made my day and I'm just feeling really excited to do things like get our tree up and oh it's going to be so much fun um, and the kids are as giddy as kippers but that's one favourite. I can't really show you them, but you just have to trust me. They're really cute. Uh, next favourite is my mug. There we go. She's from Flying Tiger. And I just love her. Every time I see her, I'm like, oh, you're really cute. And in here, I have my um, Starbucks festive pods and the coconut milk. Um, the Alpro Barista coconut milk. Because I just don't really drink cow's milk anymore and I haven't really for a while like if some if I go to someone's house and that's what they've got I'll drink it I'm not I'm not like gonna kick up a fuss but just generally speaking if I've got the choice um I'd rather have this or like Oatly Barista and like when I go out and about I always have a coffee with oat milk now because it's normally more readily available than the coconut one um but this mug is just so cute and I think it's okay to have a Christmas mug favorite I think it is more than okay next up is this book mine is not looking so great I don't know if you can see this but I got it from Amazon <laughs> and um, whoever packaged it must have got the you know like when you take the tape protector off that little film and they must have packaged it onto the book first and when it arrived it actually had like brown paper all stuck to it or like pulled off fibers of cardboard um, and I've tried to clean it up um, and I did like message in just to say like um, you know this is a bit bit pants but um, it's what's on the inside that counts it's just a good job it wasn't a gift because I did actually buy a copy of this for a friend of mine as well um, but it's called This Christmas and it says at the top perfect for fans of the holiday and love actually which I am um, and the blurb is Rose used to love Christmas until the year that everything changed she hasn't been home to visit her family for ho the holidays since Charlie is facing his first Christmas alone and it may be the most wonderful time of the year for some but not for him not this year in search of comfort and seclusion Rose escapes to a cottage in rural Donegal to hunker down for the festive season by herself but when Charlie opens the door to see the cottage two strangers realise that their holiday rental has been double booked. Both of them expected to spend this Christmas alone, but their lives could be changed forever if they agree to spend it together. I just, uh, I just love stuff like this. I just think that this time of year is so magical and I know it's easy to get caught up on in, in, you know, items and things and this, that and the other, but for me, like, I just get love getting lost in the magic of it all and like stories like this I think this book like I've not finished it yet but what it reminds me is that you know Christmas is a, a time of year where it's very you know there's a lot of pressure put on it almost and you know you can have sad Christmases I've had sad Christmases myself and um, but they've still been special because it's Christmas and I've tried to take from it what what I can um but it's also just a reminder that like if you look around it's a bit like love actually really like the, the Hugh Grant at the start but like love actually is all around and you just kind of have to look for it um, and it's just a reminder that you know everybody's going through their own stuff um, but obviously it's like a love story and it's a little bit different and it's just like a hug in a book and um, so if you're looking for something to read I really recommend that I'm really glad that I've started it so keeping with the Christmas theme the next thing I want to show you is the sky you ready <laughs> do you like him I love him he makes me smile so much so I just had it in my head that I wanted like a vintage like picture of Father Christmas and I couldn't find any like you know does any normally the place that I go to a lot and um, I worked with them recently actually and I couldn't find anything on there and it was really like a specific 
request <laughs> i mean it's not like not everybody's going to be searching for pictures of father christmas <laughs> in such detail but i found one that i liked on etsy and it was a digital download which was great but then like because i had it immediately but then the issue was is that i needed to get it printed myself so i got it printed i think i just googled like print poster print or something like photo print print I think it was a certain poster size because I already had one of these frames and um, I decided to go for it. There was a like a discount on as well. Like I think it was like in the run up to Black Friday because um, I only ordered it like this past week. Um, it came really quickly actually. And I just love him and I'm keeping him in the kitchen at the moment. But the kids saw it as well. And it's almost like a kind of oil painting style. But Daisy and Stan were like, oh my gosh, where did you find a real picture of Father Christmas? And I was like, I've just got my connections. And it just makes me really happy. So he's there. Um, a few people asked me about him over on Instagram, like for links and stuff. So I will leave him linked down below if you would like to know. Um, and then the next festive item, I think that is it. Um, oh, apart from one other thing that I can't show you, but I can tell you about, is my little gingerbread cottage. Now, this was actually sent to me by um you know the northumberland candle company that i've spoke to um spoke about on here before um but it sold out really quickly and they didn't have a lot of stock so what what you do you put your wax melt in there the tea light in there and then this is the lid that's on top but it, like the lights glow through the windows and it's so cute and sometimes you can see a little bit of like the sort of steam almost coming through here um and i was like oh i can't share it because i don't like sharing things that people can't get themselves because it just feels like a complete tease but then i thought i'm gonna have a search and see if i can find something or something similar and i've literally found an identical one on amazon so if it's still on there i will leave that link down below for you but it is the cutest thing i also got one of those for my friend for her birthday um along with this book actually and a few other bits she's like a a late november kind of birthday and i always try and get a bit that she can enjoy throughout december like little like a, a nice festive read i got some wax melts and um, i got her that I got um, some like festive gin and some chocolate, that kind of thing. And um, it's it's kind of become a tradition. I think she knows now that when it's like her birthday, she's going to get some like little goodies. And I love doing that for her. But she loves hers too. She was like, it's literally the cutest thing. So I had to share that. But that is everything that is like directly Christmassy. And now I'm going to go on to tell a lie. I just want to share heart christmas <laughs> so if you've got like a giggle home or if you can hook your car up where you've got like a fancy car like i can plug my phone into our car and it comes up onto the the display that way do you know what i mean um but i have like tune in radio and i have just been religiously listening to heart christmas all the time um mark and i do have a playlist that we made on spotify years ago as well called christmas tay um because we're both tailors obviously um we were cringe don't we love that and um yeah i'll listen to that too but sometimes what's nice about heart christmas is that it's just like you put it on and it just randomly comes up with a song and some songs aren't always on our list and it makes me happy i've had it on in the car daisy's learned how to put it on like her little google home mini speaker and stuff and have it on when i'm cooking and it just brings me loads of joy so if you've not listened to heart christmas before please put it on because it's just fantastic and then now we're going to go on to home no not home we've done we've done the homey bits really makeup and skincare i bought all of these down to show you because I just thought it was testament to how much I love the product. At this time of year, Woolly Skin Food is where it's at for me. I have the original, which is really thick. Like when you are putting it on your skin, you almost feel like you're like dragging it because it's really tacky. Like 
paste like um, and then the skin food light is the one that I've just been reaching for ever since it got to about October um, and I had this tube already which I pretty much finished I had like a little bit left which I really need to squeeze out actually and then I've got my replacement already because my skin does get drier and I just find that I need more moisture um, and that's just sort of the way that I can get my makeup staying like glowy and fresh and stopping like my you know skin from getting all scaly at this time of year but I just love it and I'm sure there'll be like little offers in the run up to Christmas but if you ever like spot it and you want to try a new moisturiser for like the winter months it's really I only use it during winter and um, I would definitely definitely recommend this because I just think it's fantastic I cannot fault it I just think it's so good it doesn't break me out I really enjoy the smell of it and um, I like that you can get a lighter version now because I still have oily spots on my face like like areas like t-zone really um and it just works a lot better with that um so i can really recommend that and then the next one is kind of on that skincare theme um are just these and i don't know if i've mentioned these properly before um but if i haven't mentioned them as a favorite i'm surprised really because i love them and this is like my second lot now but they are from mallow's beauty which is an independent business that i found out about on tiktok and they do a range of like skincare um and stuff for like shaving this is a shave butter and it is strawberry flavored and you know that real you know like you could get like dolls that smell of strawberry and it's that kind of real like tart it smells like sweeties that kind of strawberry smell like really sweet and almost tangy smell it smells like that and it is fantastic i regularly shave um i've, I've always been like on top of that sort of thing i just like doing those little bits of self-care and i'll always sh shave like a couple of times a week and i will exfoliate and i will do like fake tan once a week generally um and it makes me feel so good about myself and the shave butter just ingrown hairs what are they like i don't have any of the issue like on bikini line or anything like that it smells nice i like that i'm supporting like an independent business and um, it lasts ages and i just i love the scents i love how they look i love like the packaging i just i'm a big fan and then this is the this goes a bit quicker um for me i also like how inclusive like their packaging is like it and they're really like pro like your body is great however you look like size shape like talk about cellulite all all that sort of stuff if you don't already follow, follow them i really would recommend but this is a watermelon body scrub and this stuff just stops my skin from being dry and it's so good for getting like those little last patchy bits of like you know fake tan off and stuff i get in the shower it's normally when i've like had a gym session and i'll get in like wash my hair i'll wash my face and then i will get the exfoliating like body scrub out i will scrub everything off like any dry skin because you get drier at this time of year any patchy bits of fake tan then i will shave so i'll put the um shave butter on like arms legs anything like that and then i will follow up and like wash my body and then get out and i'll moisturize and then i'll do fake tan and that'll like be like once a week for that routine and then i just use the shave butter in between for like you know shaving any bits like where i've got a bit prickly and it's going back but i really like them and i think if you were wanting to get something for someone like a little set like for a friend or like maybe a teenage daughter or even yourself like really recommend this brand they've got loads of scents and they've even got some like festive i was gonna say flavored but festive scented ones as well which is quite cool um so i love them really like them big fan and then the next two favorites are actually perfumes they're not new new um but they're just ones from my collection that like i i feel like some people are really into perfume or they're like really not and i just kind of collect them over like birthdays and things like that over the years and this one is ysl's black opium and i have really been loving this every time i put this on and um, bill especially goes oh you smell like vanilla now when you first put it on it kind of 
it comes across as quite strong, like you know that kind of tangy sensation at the back of your nose when you smell a perfume. And it can be quite musky, but it like doors down into this really warm vanilla -y scent. And I really like wearing those kind of scents at this time of year. I just gravitate towards them a lot more than say I would do like Marc Jacobs Daisy, which is what I wear more in the summer and the spring. But I've really, really been enjoying that. And I've had it for a while and I've just been picking it up more and more. Um, the packaging is opaque so I can't see how much I've got left but I have really liked that really really like that and I think if you know someone that likes like you know those kind of vanilla cozy almost delectable kind of scents like you kind of want to like eat someone and um, like an expensive vanilla scent that is really nice and then on the flip side this is one that I saw doing the round and it's meant to be like La Labo Santal 33. Now I can't say that I have smelt that myself because that just that price point for me is just I would never spend that much money on perfume, especially with like three kids and a house and pets and stuff. Like I can't. It's like in it's a hundred and something even for like a small bottle. Um, so I can't justify that. But this is called Apothecary Warmed with notes of cardamom, cinnamon leaf, cedar wood, and sandalwood, and it's actually an M and S one and it's really nice. I sm I, I sprayed it on. Oh, it's really pretty. I put it on the other day and Mark was like, what is that? He was like, you smell really nice. What is that? It's making me, it's reminding me of something. And he, he was sniffing my neck and my hair. And then like, you know, <laughs> when men like hug you and you took like a really deep breath and then like blew out on my neck and I was like, oh crikey mate, you're gonna have to stop that, Jesus. Um, but he really, really liked it and I really like it. Again, it's quite warm. It's less vanilla-y this one, but it's sweet in a different way. And it's got that musk. I think I quite enjoy a musky smell. But it's really pretty, really pretty. And it's not, it's not too strong either. It doesn't last as long, I will say that. I know it doesn't last as long, but it's bound not to when they're that much cheaper. But if you want to give it a go or just give it a smell, um, I can really recommend that one. It's really nice. Um, the next items are makeup. I've just got two, nothing huge. Um, and if you are a TikTok user in particular, you will probably have heard of Made by Mitchell. Like, he does... Um, a product in particular called Blush, which um, it's actually spelled like that. I'm not just saying blush weird. And um, it's a huge range that looks essentially like this. They're little tubes. That's what they look like. And there are loads of different colour blush shades. There are highlighter shades. There are contour shades. Now, I've got a couple of the blushes and the contours. While I think they're all right, they don't blend as well as other products that I've had to be quite, like, I'm being brutally honest. Like, in fact, the blushes sometimes will take off my base with them. Um, and I don't think it's a me problem because I feel like I'm, I'm fairly equipped with putting on makeup, but that could just be my skin. I don't know. However, I bought this because he had a really like a viral product called drip drip which was like a silvery version of this and i always looked at it and thought mm, no i suit warmer tones on my face anyway um at least with like eyeshadow and stuff i just find the cool tones look a bit strange with my green eyes um but this is the gold version and it's called bubble trouble and it looks like this and you can see it's kind of like a bronzy golden pigment. Now, in there, it looks quite dark. But if you look on my lids now, I'm just going to try and get closer. You can see that I've, like, laid it on my lids with, like, a bit of brown in my, like, crease and stuff and blended it out. It's, like, a really pretty sparkle. Now, I've put it on really, like, loosely and just, like, blended it in a little bit. But you could do a cut crease with it. But I think it'd be really nice for the festive season. And I can see myself wearing this on Christmas Day. I'm pretty sure I will do. And I've been wearing it a lot since I've got it. Just, like, this kind of makeup, to be honest. And then something that you could pair it with... I've mentioned these as favourites before. These are the Refai um, lip 
products and I had blush and taupe last year I think it was and I absolutely loved them and this is the red collection and I've been looking for a red lipstick that I like on me for flipping ages and this had all that hype you know when a product's like oh it look great great red for every type of person every skin tone um, and I thought do you know what then I'm gonna give it a go because I know I like the product I've used it before but will I like the red Um, should we try and apply it and see what you think bear with me so it has the liner what I will say you don't get loads and loads of product however it does last a long time because it has a setter with it however I personally wish that it included more product I just feel like cost wise I would I would like that okay so that is the like cut it's like a liner but you kind of put it over the majority of your lip as you can see I've kind of left the center a little bit lighter and then at the bottom of this is a setting kind of balm So that's that one, um, and then this thing that they do all over the social media, but my hand, mm, nothing. So it sets it, which is quite nice if you're going like out for a Christmas do, or you want to kind of make it last. And then over the top, they have like a red lip gloss, and that is it. And I just think that it's very, very nice, and I do like the tone on me. And I do think it's a lovely product. I just wish that you got more for your money, really. You get loads of the gloss, but this will last ages and this is going to run out before this does. So it's just something to bear in mind. Um, but it is nice if you want to, like, treat yourself. And then, finally, I just ran and got these, actually. <laughs> I was just checking my lips in a different light. But... Chelsea Piers pyjamas. I have wanted a pair of these for the longest time. Everybody always talks about them and I just kind of thought well like they're around £45 I think for like the top and the bottom which for me personally like is not terrible for pyjamas because I've bought cheaper um, and I've even had some Kath Kidston ones once in my lifetime these are by far the best quality pyjamas I have ever owned. So first off, they are so soft. It is like, you know, when people get, oh, they're buttery soft, which is weird because like, butter is soft, but you can't really touch butter in that way. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, they're really, really soft. Now these are still a little bit damp because I've just dragged them out of the dryer. But these have been washed countless times. They are red and white and green. There has been no colour run. There has been no bobbling. They look as new as the day I got them. They are so comfortable. They have pockets. So it's like a trouser, elasticated, a stretch on them. If anything, I would say they are generously sized. I've got a size 16 and they are baggy on me. And like, you know, I'm mid sized if you will um and um i've got massive arse and i i walk around in these like i'm loving life they make me feel so happy so festive and i get the kids new christmas pajamas every single year without fail and i just wanted some of my own and the best part is is that i have done all of my growing i could grow out i could grow in but these are going to last me for years and I am so chuffed with them and I would really really like a new pair for like my birthday that aren't Christmas themed maybe um so I'm going to have a look at them when they come out in the new year or see if there's even like a sale on with any Christmas money that I get that's honestly my plan and get like a non-Christmas themed pair because I have loved wearing them um, and I wear them every night and then I put them in the wash because we always have washing to do in our house and um, so I can wear them again the next night <laughs> and they've been through the dryer 
and regular washing and just think they are fab so whatever everybody's been saying about them it's true they're really really good but the final thing that i want to mention is actually a program on netflix rather it's a documentary and we've actually been watching the robbie williams documentary on netflix and it's quite a hard watch now i will I will preface this by saying that he watches a lot of it in a vest and some underpants um, which is probably not what I personally would choose to wear if I was watching back clips of my life on, on television but um, you know he's he's clearly just very comfortable in, in that which is, is fine um, but what what has really struck me is that I was a big Take That fan um, and like big Boys Own fan, Backstreet Boy fan, NSYNC fan, like that kind of era and I never really realised the full effect of like what happened with him leaving Take That and then the animosity towards him with the British press and like his mental health and things like that and obviously he was kind of renowned as, as like a you know like one of the original cheeky chappies i feel like if i say robbie williams you say cheeky chappy robbie williams thank you um but it's it's that he's always had that kind of image hasn't he and to be fair he really was and like i think you can see this in some of the old footage like he's always been very cheeky very outspoken um sometimes yeah he probably was a little bit reckless and he's made mistakes but we're human like i i've no business judging someone until i've walked a mile in their shoes it's not uh, nothing's gained from that but i just found it very insightful um and i really appreciate like how hard it must be to be in the public eye in that way um i mean to be honest with you i struggle being online in the very very small capacity that i am and i cannot imagine what it must be like for him um and we've just been really enjoying it me and mark we've been watching it together he put it on first and i was kind of like you know like when your partner puts something on and you're there like this And you start watching it as well that's what happened and then next time he was like do you want to watch it with me and then i was like okay and then we cuddled up on the sofa with the blanket this blanket bloody love this blanket and we've just been watching it and going through it and it's just a really good watch so if you've not seen it already um i'd really recommend that one it's quite it's quite sad though seeing someone go through some of the bits that he went through um but yeah that is everything i finished talking now i promise but don't forget there is a HelloFresh discount code in the description box below for you if you want to give it a go. As always we really really enjoy it and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very very soon. Bye!